the setting for this has nothing to do with the beach. So I just hope you enjoy the setting. I grabbed Sanford on the way out, thought it's a gorgeous Thursday afternoon. Let's run to the beach and film. Listen to Big Prey. So here we are. But just before I left St. Mark's to come down here, I received a phone call from a young member of the parish. She's in eighth grade. And she had uh, just come on over and picked up a flute uh, that she had left at the end of last spring. And she said, for the cook, I want to find out if you think it'd be possible that I might be able to play my flute on Christmas Eve, because I just don't know if we're going to be able to worship together by Christmas. And I still want to be able to participate in the worship. And I said, absolutely, you'll be able to play your flute, whether we're worshiping in church or on live stream. And I tell you that simple little exchange to illustrate the optimism and the hope that is almost endemic in children. And I encourage you and me to become like children during this time when it is so easy to be cynical, it is so easy for us to be hopeless, it is so easy for us to be hunkered down on our side of the, sort of on our side of the battle that we all seem to be fighting today. And look and listen to the children and see how they adapt to a changing life and how they always look forward in hope. They are the best teachers in our midst. So may you become like a child and trust in the goodness of God to lead you to a tomorrow that will be even better than today. We'll see you Sunday on live stream. At the beach, walking down, and that, this sand is so hot! Gosh, ouch! That's good. Uh-oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will, with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.